<laughs> Let me see your hair, Pat. Turn around. Let me see. I'm trying to see. Turn the that is so crazy. I like to see your scalp. I've never hey scalp so bust. <laughs> I didn't even know it's you had like a scalp. face. So like it's, had... His, it's literally the same color as his face. If you've seen his face, you know his nigga scalp. They're like, girls are so dramatic. I know, but I'm <laughs> saying it's like, I felt like it was like a true, wig. Huh? It's just it's like, like a, a wig, like you don't light. really see no parts. Oh, I guess. Yeah, I don't be like seeing that. the the sun that much. So mine Tyler is kind of like. All Tyler hey, Perry niggas with braids and his movies be having that braid wig on. You be like, fam, stop. <laughs> I mean, that's a wig. It. My wig is nice. This is a wig. Yeah, but you but keep a little scalp good. out in the front. The fool nigga. But you can't, but you can't see like the part because it's <laughs> but see shit like stuff like that. I think that's real hair because you left a little bit of imperfection out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, girls, y'all are y'all are tricky with that. Y'all are tricky <laughs> with that. You know what I'm saying? Like you left a little bit like this, man. Double yeah, like it ain't perfect. It's, just, it's, real. it's like a costume. It's like every day is Halloween. My edges. So if you every day is clothes, Halloween, you see the gray. That's horrible. Yes. What? So so I have a different hairstyle on. What what's the problem? Nah, it goes deeper than that. You say every day is Halloween. It. This is about makeup. See, why do y'all y'all do? No, hey, here's, Halloween here's is thing. dress up, dress up, costume. Hair is considered part of a costume. See, as a man. If I drew something every day, I would get quicker and more efficient at drawing that every day, especially <laughs> if it were my face. Now y'all sit here for four or five hours and draw your face as if, I think every time y'all freestyle, I'm like, oh, look at me. I don't know who this bitch is, just look at me. That's how I feel. <laughs> y'all just be freestyling like, oh, ooh, this is nice. Cool, leaving it like that. Y'all don't even, y'all don't even know y'all. Well, I'm raw facing <laughs> today, but- um... Me too. That's what I, I call it, raw face. Going to YouTube University, learning how to do my own makeup. So I've been playing the makeup. I've been, I've been man, looking all right. Man, you are not raw facing. There's nothing on my face. Oh, on my uh, face. no, 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 nothing on your face from today. That looks like you went to a ball two days ago. What? <laughs> <laughs> this literally, your I have no not an ounce. Your cheeks are no on my face. Nothing you have on great me. skin. Your skin looks great, Mac. You look Thank like girl, a Saturday. I got a little secret. I've been using some stuff. It's a secret. Oh, but I tell you, like you Saturday at ten thirty. I'll tell you what I'm like. Visit my page. I'll teach y'all on at Mexican. Oh, been, I've been using the Fenty skin. The Rihanna. Listen, that Rihanna. Listen. Everybody it's like. Good? He hasn't put out a product that I've heard people say is is trash yet. She's, that is true. She's got like her. Products are top tier. I'm about to get some Rihanna draws next because um, I got all the makeup, I got all the skin stuff. I ain't got the draws, so I'm about to get the re re draws because um, your draws are comfortable. And Rihanna draws is like girl Jordans. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that's a big fucking. Fact, that's kind of what it's like. You know, that's what I'm saying some little, facts. some little coochie jays. Oh, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, hey, Pat, coochie jays. Uh, Meg got the COVID, bro. Oh yeah, I got COVID. What? First of all, you look great to have COVID. COVID looks amazing on you. COVID looks oh, great man. on you. <laughs> it does. It does. John, Korea be packing they they subways way too tight. You was probably what? on. No. You probably caught it on that. <laughs> you what like, that got to do with how I got it? Because I was I'm in Korea. Saying that midday commute that you you exposed to like a thousand people per car. No, oh, Pat. Can you imagine Pat. all the Asians in Atlanta just went to one little area just to be crowded to feel like home? Like <laughs> ah yes. Oh, oh, oh yes! Bring your children. Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, oh, hell! Don't be talking about Asian people like that. I'm just saying, like <laughs> this all this space. They're used to that backyards and shit. They're like, oh, come hug me. Come hug wow. my family. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. No, I got it from Mav. Mav got it from school. Wait, Mav was a carrier? Yeah, Mav was patient zero in our house. So wait, did you see signs of it in him first, or did he just carry it to you? Yeah. No, he had um he had a, a one o two fever, and then two days later, then I started getting sick, and he was fine. He was back to normal. Okay, well that's good. Was sick. He got that brand new immune system. Zero blunts in. Man, <laughs> you can do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's Man. zero blunts in, zero shots of Patron, and his little system is like COVID. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. It's, it's brand new. Is it? Is, is it? Our a baby stronger that way? Their immune yeah, systems I are mean, strong, pretty strong. That's they're built. Their immune systems are still building when they're that young. So 
yeah it takes a couple of years before they get to where it's supposed to be but um there i don't know what it is about covid but covid seems to be pretty kids are pretty resilient with covid that i've noticed you know what i'm saying like most of the people that are dying are not children it's barely a cold for most of them it's crazy you gotta be a stressed see, out ass baby go ahead about that you see you see a lot of parents walking around with their kids and the kids don't have on masks yeah, uh, those do it, and I always, I always thought that was weird. Like from the beginning, I'm like, I get it, kids yeah. having strong immune systems, but it also it. seems like if their immune system is still like building, that they will be more susceptible to it. But yeah. it's right. But I think it, it's Allie, just, you. I mean, it's it's the same thing. Like you know, kids in school, they it's just aren't always that. sick because they they haven't had these sicknesses yet. So like, I'm sure Ty, when your kids were first in school, they was always sick, right? CPE Ty. Oh hell yeah! Like, but I, you get on my nerves. But now I understand that it's like this is how, so you don't have no sick ass high schooler. You know what I'm saying? Like they got to get <laughs> right. this to happen to them. You know what I'm saying? You know yeah. so. It kind of makes me nervous. Like we took our kids to Target two weeks ago. They got sick as fuck. We was like, God damn, Target. But what? because this whole year they haven't got sick at all. They've been mm. in the house. They mm -hmm. went to Target. I don't know what they was touching. Games and action figures came back with that shit. Damn. Not COVID, have... but just there's oh, just okay. a nice ass little cold. You know, it's flu season. Yeah. Oh, not COVID. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, but kids that are people... sick tend to be strong immune system adults. So mm -hmm. I mean, That's it's what a like lot of people. What, oh, oh, what, uh, worried about like with us quarantining for so long and not being out in the elements mm -hmm. will our immune systems become compromised when we do go back in the world like regularly because we have an adult having so a dog helps that though they they bring little elements back into your house and it helps you to kind of get a little you know what i'm saying like you know i know it's nasty to think about how they track shit but it helps honestly yeah. i know it's disgusting but that's I think that's true because I was a, I was allergic to dogs and then when me and Marlon got together he had a dog and then we just got a second dog over the summer so now we have two dogs and I feel like my allergies are not that bad anymore. My pet How's the second allergy. dog doing? I remember we all got it. That that's the bully, right? Yeah. Oh man, look, I got my dad. Listen, I got my dad a, um in a, a a British bulldog or English bulldog in uh October. I flew it to Michigan. I just went back, yes, like two days ago. This motherfucker is four months old, huge, like huge. I, we never had one of these in our family. Big, stanking motherfucker. I was like, God damn. Like, yeah, huge. I have a French bull dog. This is like a snack to this dog. My dog looks like a strong ass mouse compared to this dog. <laughs> I just, I'm, you know, I'm not really a pet person. Maybe that's what it is. I don't like puppies. I like old dogs that just be chilling by themselves. They'll be causing no problems. They'll be jumping on nothing. They'll be oh, bothering like nobody. Puppies. I don't like puppies because puppies yeah, are like puppies. they jump, they touch, they bite, they eat stuff. Ugh. Who does yeah, too like, much action? They do. They're trying to see what they can get away with and what they can eat when you ain't yeah, around. I need an old. I like old dogs. You need a more sarcastic pet. That's that's <laughs> your problem. You need something that's gonna just bounce off your little insults all day. Like, hmm. <laughs> you need like a parrot. You know what I'm saying? Like something you could sit down and talk shit about people with. <laughs> I guess you can't. You can't. Cats got cat. major energy. I had my my cat declawed um, because when I, you know, when he got older, he started to just pull up, you know, on the carpet. So I got him like scratching posts, and I got him this G14 classified you know, the thing where they can climb up on the tunnel yeah. and he would not scratch that. He would just literally go by the door and just pull up on the carpet. So I got him declawed and, you know, like animal people were like, that's cruel. And I was like, bitch, I'm trying to get my security deposit back. So uh, I'm like, that's he cruel. Got that's why he hates you. Oh my God. Can you imagine that? He watching cat commercials and he's like, mm, fuck. <laughs> but, he, but, but he still, but he still, but he has cat his commercials. Back so yeah. I only took the so he only so the front are the ones that are the club, but he still has his back, but he still acts like he has claws mm -hmm. in the front. Like my kid will walk by because they have a toxic relationship, and he'll swipe at her and scratch at her. Um, the only thing it did was it it kicked up his biting. So when he wants to play, like me and him get to be playing, he'll be like, "All right, I ain't scratching it," ah, and he bite me. And I'll be oh, like, that's, that's when I'm that's when I'm pushing him down, kicking him or something. Yeah, yeah so that's when you got to take, take a kick. Okay. Two words, Chinese food. Their claws don't grow back? I no, they, he was that declawed, is... so they were surgically removed. Like wow. they go in and take the like the base of the claw? What? They get all out. 
I didn't, I'm not saying he turned into Chinese food. I said, we go get some Chinese food and threaten him. Like, remember that one cat? And he's eating like, uh, remember that one cat that, that was scratching up the neighbor's shit? Remember that? And we had to get him deep and he ain't like that. He started biting. Give me that duck sauce. <laughs> That's all, just a threat. I'm sorry. Well, this, this is a perfect place for us to go ahead and jump into this first topic right after this. What up, y'all? Y'all just gonna have to deal with me playing this game while I do this ad because I can't stop. I'm, I'm midway through this level and this is the highest that I've ever been right now. All right, and if you don't know, you should know, I'm talking about Best Fiends. It's my new favorite game, okay? I'm not afraid and ashamed to say it. It's fun. It's a top-rated mobile puzzle game, all right? Best Fiends has thousands of levels, plus new content added all the time, so you never run out of entertainment. And look, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm no hardcore gamer by far, okay? Which is why I love this game, because it's a, it's a casual game. It's made for adults, but it's fun for all ages, unless you hate fun. All right, in which case, I, I ain't really got nothing to do with that. I really, I really have nothing to offer with that one. I'm still rocking with Quincy. Started from the bottom, now we here. This is my dog, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna get big and then switch up. Who you think I am? <laughs> and I love that I can play this anytime. Even when I'm not on Wi-Fi, even if I ain't got service on, I'm still getting on to that next level. Ooh, that was a good one. I love Best Fiends, man. Literally, boredom doesn't stand a chance. There's something new today, tomorrow, and the day after that. Literally, there are levels Thousands of them, thousands of levels to play and counting, plus tons of cute characters to collect. So you never get tired of solving puzzles. Boom. <laughs> Seriously, guys, with Best Fiends, the fun never ends. Just don't blame me if you become slightly obsessed with this game. But I want you to see for yourself. Seriously, experience it. See why you won't be able to put your phone down. Download Best Fiends free today on the Apple App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends. First topic of the day, what's better, back rubs or foot rubs? To give, give or, receive. or receive? To receive. Nobody, nobody's going to pick, oh, yeah, I prefer to rub those feet. To down. Rub feet? Nah, I, mean, that's a, I would prefer, a, I would prefer to rub back. a back over some feet because feet just yeah. show up. Yeah, like, did y'all walk here? Like, yeah, we did. That's disgusting. <laughs> feet be but dirty, some too. Do, some but what if it's a sweaty back? I don't know, but we talk of receive. We talk of receive. What's, what's better to receive? Back all day. I'm ticklish. I'm a back, go back massage is good because you can do so many parts of the back. You got the upper, you got the lower, you got the middle back. You, you, yeah, like I used to go to uh, this place called the broke joint. down the back for us, huh? <laughs> You just broke down the back for us? Well, I'm saying, like, you got, you got, got, said, back. You got front back, back, middle back, back back, bottom back. It's not a back. Versus just, just having a foot. Fat through, back. Just yeah, having a, uh, about the back. a foot is what I'm saying. Like, that's just one foot, but that's multiple parts of the back. I feel Wait like. a minute, uh, though. Here, but just like you're saying, there's different parts of the back. You don't want feet. It's like reflexology. That's an yeah. ancient, uh, yeah, you know, like Eastern medicine where there's, Different parts of the foot is is Attached connected to, to every like, part of the body. Part of yeah. your body. You're right. So You're technically, right. But just as many nerves. No one asks for uh, foot scratches, but you can also scratch the back, and that's amazing. Do a lot of things to the back. Back scratches. My thing about the back, though, you got people. People be. I just people be putting their elbow on your back. People think backs is turtle shells. Like, wait a minute. People be like, yep. All you need is a good. Like, wait a goddamn minute, drum line. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. Foot. Liking that. Shoot. And then have you ever had somebody walk on your back? Oh, my gosh. It's the best feeling in the world. Is that time? I'll tell mm -hmm. you this, though. I'm not uh, I'm not opposed to having a male masseuse. I just need them to be. I need the hygiene to be right. And I ain't had one that was that was like stinky or anything, but I had. A male masseuse when I had booked uh, uh, a massage at Massage Envy. He's musty. And no, nah, he wasn't musty, right? But I, for, I forget what the dude's name was. It was I can either, smell his uh, ass. Jamie or something like that. <laughs> but I didn't realize it was a guy's name until I got there. And <laughs> uh, it might have been Gabby. They said, all right, uh, uh, Gabby's going to take care of it. It was Gabriel or something, right? So, but I get there, big, huge Armenian dude, hairy Armenian. arms. 
And that matters because, you know, when they rub in the back and all of this, they use it. Oh, yeah, water. man. I feel all his hair follicles rubbing on my back. My back ain't hairy, fam. I feel all of your hair. And then Buddy had just got through eating, like, a Reese's peanut butter cup. I knew it was Reese's peanut I smelled the chocolate <laughs> and the peanut butter. And I do not Reese's like those. Like, I like peanut butter on sandwiches. I don't really do peanut butter cereal. I don't do that type of stuff. Just, oh, no. just and say, bro, when I tell you, he was like this, and he was like, is that too hard? And I was like, bro, it was like, is that too hard? There, All yeah. up in here, it was, it was too much. It you was, knew it was hey. not like an off-brand peanut butter cup? I, of it, course, bro, you know, you know, Tahir be, knows his candy. I know Tahir like, candy, bro. Reese, 1989? Uh, <laughs> the original formula? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, say it again, say it again. Right. Too hard? Mm, mm, yeah, that's a two pack. But wait, that's to hear you too nice though. <laughs> you too nice, fam. So wait a minute. After that, do you now have a preference in masseuse, like female? Bro, I'll pick my shit brothel style. Like, no, nah, give me, bring all the bitches up front, please. Let me see who all y'all got. What? I prefer, I prefer Thai massages. Um, I actually like when they walk on my back and and. I was gonna say I don't get massages. Nah. <laughs> I, I actually prefer those, but I also like Swedish too, because the Swedish ones are super dope. You sit in the tub first and relax and just like what? loosen the mu muscles up. And then what this one that I went to, they did that. And then as they're like, they will scrub your back first. So, sit in like, the tub, loosen that ass up. Uh, to hear, I hate to tell you this, that's not normal. It's just because it was you. They was like, you got a wide back and it looked dirty. So we gonna have to wash They it. took their time and made sure that they molested your ass real good. They said, yeah, sit in the tub. Oh yeah, come here, Gabby, big Gab. We got. A <laughs> this, this is a whole nother experience. I like, nother who are you fitting to try? You uncultured <laughs> swine. That is they not what happened. They washed you first. It was That's like a, um, I don't know Dude, if it's Swedish or Turkish. Funky. It's Swedish or Turkish, but after you get out the tub, you lay on the um, you lay on the um, the the back thing, and then they like. They scrub your back, so they they're throwing more water on you while they're scrubbing your back, getting all the dead skin. Like off. an elephant. <laughs> you got a massage at Sea World, nigga. What, what kind of Sea World massage are you getting? <laughs> so you do that, and then they take you outside, and they have like these little smelts, and so you what jump the with the smelt, and the kids is clapping, and they want you to wave to the kids. And a lot of pictures, but it was cool. Never done that. Like TP it doesn't surprise me. Being from, from they, Detroit, it doesn't surprise do? me that you haven't had this. I, you got damn right. Well, I guess I haven't had the finer things in life, you like a fucking Zen Geef, a fucking Zen Geef Supreme massage. You have, like you. you have <laughs> I should have known when well, you got a Fago hat on. You got a hood soda yep, hat so on. Yep, so do I got a Fago hat on. You got power bombed at the damn massage parlor. <laughs> That's what my that back too hard? at the moment. Oh my That's what my back was quiet at the moment. Man, I know you're not laughing. I would have thought oh, that you would have got in on this. Oh, I, I can't, I'm laughing so hard. I'm over here having a, a COVID cough attack. Uh, man, they made, they made a Tahir gumbo. I was like, like an elephant? <laughs> Here, like, yeah, they, they all the little potatoes and carrots. They got the carrots up, put the carrots in there. <laughs> Did they throw you fish? I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Oh, what? what else they do to here? I ain't saying nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> they gave him a bucket of live shrimp and they they sent him. Bro, home. that's so bad to hear. I can't. You need to sue, bro. <laughs> you need to sue, man. Yeah, didn't it? <laughs> Yeah, man. Not, you know, I was a massage. They like, no, this is whale training today. Right. <laughs> then I was in the tank with about five other big brothers. You know what I'm saying? We were just chilling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, it's okay to hear. Oh. I wasn't relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a Turkish massage. It might have been Turkish. Yeah, that's sound Turkish, my nigga. For real. No. Oh, it was turkey massage. That's what you <laughs> misread. Oh, shut up, shut up. Then they put stuff in your ass and then, you know, they <laughs> put you on the side on 400 for like three hours, man. I was straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know who to blame. Blame CP for this one. Oh, it just, you just, bro, you laid out, you gave us all these Legos, man. We just built a little Sea World for you. That's all. You gave us all the Legos, man. God damn it to hear. Who I was, was going to I was gonna give y'all the name of the place and tell y'all to check it out, but now I hope y'all never experience anything. We know it's the world. Go. We got it. Okay. Yeah, we Shut up, Meg. <laughs> Shut your face. I was going to say, I've had a, I had a horrible massage. I usually only request 
male masseuses are because of they're very like I like deep tissue massage and they I feel like you know frail women hands don't be I need you to get into my knots on my back. Oh, you so need Zangief. Rick, what'd you say? You should go to Zangief. <laughs> I, I know I should now. I should go see what else you. But I was gonna say there's I have this really really bad terrible massage from a man before and it made me contemplate like do I want to still get massages from men? There is this old it was an Asian dude. I went to this like Asian place reflexology place or whatever like 50 60 year old asian man he was doing what well, just what to here said was his elbow like rubbing on my back like this right so i'm like lay you know you know how you like lay like this right and i think my arms were like straight like on the table next you know he's going like this y'all why does his penis rub against my arm like he wasn't wearing. You know why it ran against your arm? I gotta. You, you know how porn go. He was trying to set you up for the setup. Like if you would like anything extra, you know what I'm saying? He was trying to give you that same song. And, and mind you, my face is down, so I'm sitting here like. More than was once, that, it was like constant. It was just like a like you know like he was rubbed like so then he like rubbed his penis on my arm and then it was like another time and I was like um and then I like look I like look like I'm sorry. Is Man, that a, keeping stuff to his herself <laughs> I, I just was like is this is and then he just was like Are, is everything okay and i was like i just i just thought you rub you know like women gotta be it. honest you gotta be honest be like excuse me sir you are way too ugly and broke to be rubbing your dick on me <laughs> it's a certain kind of people you know like it just elba rub his dick on you give you a massage certain people because that's there's nothing wrong with that but he thought he was of that caliber and he's not he's hey, no. old broke masseuse nigga yeah get that dude, hey, get that goddamn <laughs> Get that goddamn uh, Korean dick off me, sir. Thank so you. Then, so then, and when I looked up, like, I'm sorry, excuse, like, what's going on here? Then he was just like, he. then he goes, and it, I think they were Japanese or something. And then he starts acting like he don't speak English. And I was like, oh, this is how we're doing it. Okay, he bailed cool. out of the language? <laughs> he was just like, I don't think he knew that much English, but at that moment, he went full Japanese. Oh, Why like, you ain't hop over there and catch his ass? Like, uh uh, Shang Song, nigga, you thought I wasn't going to. <laughs> <laughs> <Shang Tsung. laughs> because Japan and Korea are two different countries. Hey, man. Hey, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, and that was awkward, but I did, since I already paid, I was like, you need to finish my backup. Just don't, don't do that again. <laughs> no helmet. No more See, helmet. See, I've never had um... no helmet close off massages I, I i said once earth reopens i'm gonna go because i've always wanted a deep tissue full body massage mm -hmm. i've only ever gotten the massages where you're like on the chair but your clothes are on and they just you know but oh. i want them to get oh, in there out tie oh i want it time. so bad it's so it's a great experience i, want, I, I love a good massage I've, I've i've actually had I don't think I've ever had a like a, a a fully clothed massage or even just my underwear still on. Like they tell everywhere I go, for the most part, they always. You know when it's at the mall, he's the only naked one sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, over. Oh no, what, okay, what, what, what old boy? <laughs> <laughs> he got a Wetzel's pretzel, like draws <laughs> definitely say old boy. And and like I usually felt, I usually fall asleep doing all my massages. Always fall asleep. I was awake the entire time. I was like, this nigga's strong, bro. <laughs> Here got one shop that, that think he Fred Hammond that give him a special treat, but he walked in like, oh, Fred. Yeah, right this way, Fred. I sing all, I sing all his songs, too, to get the special yeah, treat. I bet you. All Fred Hammond here. songs, too. Here, what do y'all order? Do you guys get, like, Swedish, Thai? <laughs> really? Every time? I like the Nuru. Well, that sounds, I, like I like Nuru. What is that? What's that? So it's like, uh, I never had it before, but it's on all the, it's like the porn is massage. What happens is <laughs> the, the woman put this big clear slime all over her body and then she just slide up and down you and you get the prize if you can, if you can penetrate her, but you can't use no hand. That's dope. I need to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga just told us his favorite porn category. He did not describe this massage, bro. Oh yeah, what? I never got the massage. You watch the NBA. You don't play, goddamn it. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are the pros. That, <laughs> these are the pros. That's weird. It sounds no, but it's live though. Look it up. N U R U. N U R U. I don't know what planet it's from because I don't know because you know what I'm saying. But man, they got this slime on there. And what? It's N U R U. It's probably not slime. It's probably lube. No, no, no. It's slime. Look it up. I would. I, I know slime and lube. Not not saying I'm a lubeologist, but 
erotic massage. Bam, there it is. Their body against the client's body when both parties are nude and covered with an odorless and colorless massage lotion. Ooh. The word is Japanese language for slippery smooth. You get in the old slippery smooth. <laughs> Triggering yeah. strong tactile sensations. I That's what you got to hear. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to hear got the smelting shrimp combo. <laughs> <laughs> that come with a free belly rub and a splash. <laughs> you on some shit. Uh, yeah. you on some other shit. Oh, you, you gotten that more than once? Who? You. No, nah, I just seen it. I haven't gotten it. Like I said, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a size. That's your favorite. You never even got it. Cause that's the one I like to look at. I'm from Detroit. I don't let motherfuckers rub me. <laughs> Shit, like I just I heard about it, but you know what I'm saying. You ain't I've never got a massage in your entire <laughs> life. My wife massaged me, like rub my back and shit. I ain't, oh, really? I ain't never? Nah. I feel like do you have like a wife beat around while she do it? Cause I feel like you just keep Detroit dudes just keep them on. Mm, 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 mm. But I do wear hoop shorts under my jeans sometimes, which is weird. I know. <laughs> you do During that? a massage? Every now and then. How, oh, wait, wait, how wait. big are your my jeans? My jeans not big enough no more, but I, I miss that feeling wait, of being on. able to hoop at any time. <laughs> but you never used to hoop like that. You said that you were a good hooper. No, I said I wasn't a good hooper. I definitely tried. I try, to, I try, I try to put ten thousand hours in, just get sweet like that, but it don't work like that. You have, you, you got to be tall, and you know what I'm saying. You have, have, have the tools. You got to be, you got to have the tools. I saw you hoop to here, so I, you know, what I'm saying I like never claim. Yeah, I would let's never move on. Claim that I'm a good hooper at all. <laughs> at all. here got that patented body dribble. <laughs> what was the topic? Back massages, back feet first. or back? Uh, have y'all ever given yeah. anybody a foot massage? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have. I don't like that. I don't fuck with feet. I, I gave like Farron uh, basically a spa night at home one time. I went and got uh, like a, a, a tub and some Epsom salt and some bath bombs and I let her soak her feet in there uh, and then I pulled them out and massaged them. Then I put them back in there and I soaked in and put some more hot water in it. Then when I took them out, I massaged their feet with the lotion and the oil and all that shit. I did that over the, the pandemic last year. Stop saying you took them out like they were some oxtails or something. Like you had her lift the feet up. I <laughs> was new that. Water. It sounded like a recipe. Thinks I took them out, rinsed them off, put them back <laughs> in. Y'all ruined everything. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ruined everything. I just woke up today and chose violence, man. I'm sorry. You can't be sweet and express they love. You niggas are like, uh, love. You That's a problem. But you said That's I took them really out like she was in the slow cooker. I took her out, rinsed her off. She was <laughs> fell off the bone, Jack. That's not really nice, nice to hear. hear. Fell off really the nice. bone. <laughs> Yeah, no I actually hate right. feet, but I don't mind dealing with feet. I hate them, but I like, I don't what know. Do I, I, I can't. So for example, I just, I don't like, you know how like man feet tend to be gross most of the time. Not everybody. I know you to hear you get your, whatever, but most men feet is just, you know, flaky. It's got the, you know, dry, just not okay. I'm actually okay with doing what Tahir did, which is like, as long as I wash them. Yeah, like like that. Mangy feet that's like beautiful. that. Uh, that's not the adjective I will use. Um, Pretty nice. But it smells all <laughs> feet like time. that is just like, ugh. But I'm okay as long as I soak them and clean them first. I'll clip the toenails. I'll mm -hmm. put lotion on them, all that stuff. I'll even pick the skin off because I hate blemishes. Yeah, where, like, where you work at a nursing home or some shit? What are you talking about? What, what, what? <laughs> no, I'm saying for man feet. Like I used to like growing up, I would do that for my dad. I'd be like, oh, your feet are disgusting. So I would like clean his feet up. I would, and it, his feet are the worst feet I've ever seen in my life. They, I would, he has those, you know, thick fungus toenails that a lot of old black men have. Mm -hmm. I'd be, I'll clip his toenails and then his feet are, there's like dead skin. I'll pull the skin off, moisture. You all learned that. all this at the shop? I got, you know, doing nails and doing pedicures in my blood. Sound like you need a pet snake or something. Sound like you do very <laughs> well with a snake. <laughs> like I shared them. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Ahead. You never know until you have one. He might lick you. No. Well, let's put it to a vote. What y'all feeling like? A foot massage or a back massage? What's better? Back. Back. 
I'm gonna go with the back massage because if it gets done by like a regular person, it usually leads to sex, and I like that. What about the Korean dude who will rub his dick on your arm? That's very full. <laughs> I mean, I, I, mean, I, I, I mean, like a regular person, not like a professional. <laughs> you probably would like it, Ty. I'm gonna give you that man number. Okay, you go. Cause you know what I'm saying, dudes be like, "You want a back massage?" And I'd be like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. When I say no, back so massage. Yeah, I'm starting at the back of the coochie. I ain't even fucking around with you with your actual <laughs> back. I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> I'll be back there like a little, like looking like like like, like 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 the true religion man, like. <laughs> And you went back with us, and I back. start taking my pants off. Like, what? Oh, you yeah. meant a real one. Okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. Dudes usually use that as like a segue into yeah. the right. Place, but it's like it's funny to think that the, the women are like, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do this weak ass segue. <laughs> yeah. What's funny <laughs> is if women think that they can ever get a back massage after sex, you better get everything you can before <laughs> the sex starts. Nobody rubbing shit after sex. Like, that no. Back, if you try to do it afterwards, that back massage gonna be just one thing. You'll be like, oh, that feel, that's good. <laughs> you ain't gonna put no effort into it. To hear, you go swipe her like a phone, <laughs> like an iPhone, like, yeah, uh, uh, scroll on her back, like, yeah, somebody says timeline. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't doing shit after after. You better get everything you can. Chick fil A, everything. I'm gonna go with back massage too. So that makes it unanimous. And we're gonna jump right into the second topic right after this. Yo, what up? It's your boy to hear more, and I'm here to tell you about a brand new company we just started partnering with, and you guys are gonna absolutely love it. Check the name out, New X. Now, New X was created with the mission of providing high quality CBD products for responsible adult consumers that set the standard for purity and consistency. All of their products are natural, pure, lab tested, and affordable. With over 60 CBD products under their belt, New X makes sure that the quality CBD can be found on their website safely, easily, and without putting a dent in your wallet. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, wait, did Tia just say 60? Yes, I said 60. 60 CBD products. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm going to break down a couple for you. They got the hemp pre-rolls and flowers. Now, these start at just $9.99. Okay, $9.99 for the pre-roll? Come on. And these are perfect for people who want to have a fun way to take CBD. Someone who loves the ritual of smoking but don't want to get high, looking just to, I don't know, relax for the weekend escape. This is perfect for you. Now, of course, they got the tinctures, which are also $9.99, starting at $9.99. The tinctures are fast-acting, easy to use, and made with full-spectrum USA-grown hemp. Come on, people. They're also THC-free and are non-GMO and vegan. These are perfect for people who like using tinctures as their preferred method of CBD intake and people who like doing CBD with their beverage or food. Listen, you got options. I'm talking about options galore. In addition, they also have the relax shots. They have disposable pens. They have gummies. Listen, anything that you can think of, they got it. At Nuex, okay, you need to head on over and take a look at what you can get. And what you can do is get 20% off right now. But it's for a limited time and on your first order. All you have to do is visit Nuex.com and use the discount code ALLDEATH. Again, that's N-U-X.com. And then use the promo code all death, A L L D E F. One more time, 20% off, limited time offer. All you got to do is head over to newx.com, use the promo code all death, and tell them your boy sent you. What's up, guys? Now, we all know life hasn't been easy lately, but looking, feeling, and smelling your best doesn't have to be hard. All right, with the short quiz, Hawthorne makes grooming for the modern man almost effortless. Now, if you know, you know. If you, you've been here, you've seen these commercials before, you know what I'm about to get in. For all you newcomers, sit back and soak up this game, okay? Hawthorne is a premium grooming brand that tailors your personal care routine to your unique profile. You first start with the quiz, all right? On this quiz, they ask you stuff like, what type of person are you? Where do you like to go? Where do you like to hang out? Do you go to bars? Do you go to lounges? Do you go to live concert venues when, you know, we could? And when you are there, what type of person are you there? Are you the life of the party? You just like to mingle a little bit? Do you sit back and just go the whole scene. If you go to bars, what do you drink when you're there? Are you a beer person? Are you a cocktail, wine? Are you a neat person? All of this is what they ask you. Two minutes. It just takes two minutes. They take all of those answers and then they create you a unique smell. Tailored just to you. Nobody else gonna be walking around smelling like you. 
Don't you want that? And it's not just the cologne that they offer, which I do love. I also have the body wash. I have the shampoo. I have the conditioner. I have the candles. You know, I've, I've been rocking with Hawthorne for a while. Kind of like a VIP, if you will, but I still pay full price. One of the great things about Hawthorne is that they take the risk out of shopping for personal care by giving you free shipping on your order and returns. And if you don't like your products, they'll even retailer them based on your feedback. So with high quality self-care products tailored specifically to your needs from Hawthorne, looking your best has never been easier. And this is what I'm gonna do for you guys. I want you to head on over to Hawthorne, take the quiz. I just take the quiz and see how easy it is. And then I'm gonna hook you up with 10% off your first order. That's right, 10% off your first order. All you have to do is go to Hawthorne.co. Again, Hawthorne.co, use the promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, and you'll get 10% off your first order. Now, again, go to Hawthorne, H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N-E.co, Use the promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D. Get 10% off people. What you waiting on? Hmm? What you waiting on? Go. Second topic of the day, would you rather be rich? And I'm talking about rich in a small town or barely making it in the big city. So let's think about um, Backwoods, Oregon, where like it's one of those towns where it's like two or three different stuff stoplights and just like one general supermarket versus barely making it in new york so i mean are we talking about like you like rich starting in, in oregon you got like a, you got a ranch you got horses you got your own but you can't relocate nah you, you can't man you can, can travel, you travel? Though, right? can you travel right you could travel you could travel you gotta come back home right can't yeah, you gotta come on you like Let's, all right, let's put the parameters on, on the rich. You, you can travel, cannot travel because you're on house arrest. So all you can do is just go around your city. First of all, doesn't nobody want to be arrest. barely making it nowhere. I'm going to fuck where you at. I right. want to be rich everywhere. Like, this is so <laughs> stupid. I'm going to be rich. Like, because I will I, think about it. Michael Jackson put a amusement park in his backyard. If I'm rich as fuck, I'm going to turn that bitch to a metropolis. <laughs> I will turn it to, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to go, I'm gonna go yeah. import some crackheads. I'm going to turn it to a nice environment for myself. Right. But here's the thing, though. In a, in a big city, you might be barely making it. Like a lot of us, when we first started off in our careers, but you like, you could find like free concerts. You have, if you're in New York, you got Central Park. You could come up on a lot of good things. You could be, become friends with people who are chefs and get food from them. So it's ways to get around, like barely make it. Barely make it just mean right. like you don't have like. I know, but you life. can buy all that if you're really, really rich to here. Yeah, yeah, but don't nobody want to come visit you and fucking. To here, I will okay, fly I'm your gonna, ass out like, there, you whether know, you want you know, to be like, there or not. I'm gonna give you an example of this. So Dave Chappelle lives in Yellow Springs, Ohio, which is basically outside of Dayton. There's literally nothing there. Okay, mm -hmm. he has had multiple shows who's there he's brought whole production companies there to put on shows he, he'll invite people he'll perform comedy shows like whatever it, he lives there it's, this is basically that's, the exact scenario that you're saying anything he's wanted he just buys it that's very Chefs, true, whatever. But he's also dave chappelle don't nobody know you you didn't say nothing about who you are you just right. said rich, rich, rich you invite somebody yeah, out i'm rich you rich i'm cp Hey, won't you and your whole production company? Uh, this is come this is no, and it's also like Kanye in Wyoming. You know how many people come and visit him I when he's like, out there? Example, he's yeah. also Kanye, Meg. You're naming all does famous that, people. Not, what does that mean? You said rich. Do you, you think Memphis it. Bleak could go to Wyoming and pull a concert off? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't about who you are. You gotta be the richer version of yourself. Like <laughs> they're rich, bro. I'm sorry. Huh. People will come <laughs> for money. PS5, I would have internet. Like, I'm, I'm fine for a few months. Like, I don't think, you know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't even begun to even deal with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Like, I have a lot to do. <laughs> Pretty good. Wait a second. You like it? You like it? Yeah, I saw it on your page a little bit. I, I, I'm getting into it. You said you're fine for a couple months. So, like, seven months in, you're going to be losing your mind or what? Um, Bruh, listen, bro. I've been broke for so long, and I did that. Money, I have plans. I'm, I'm getting shit built, bro. It's gonna be it's constant construction at my place. You know, I if if this was like two years ago, I would probably say I'd rather be like, like broke in a big city. But now that I have a family and I have been broke in a big city, and I've moved to a smaller city, but still a big city, 
and I see how much further the money goes, mm. I ain't going back to that life, okay? Especially because in the real world, you can still travel, right? I can still go, I, like I do now. I go back to LA all the time. But when right. I think about what I was paying <laughs> in rent for a 600 square foot apartment right. and how that was more than what I paid for a thousand, a thousand, thousand square foot home. Facts. I ain't it's, going back. Uh, my boy told me what his mortgage is on a four bedroom, four bath, two car garage house in Dallas. And Ooh, Dallas so got really a good real estate. Third too. of what I'm paying for rent. Literally wow. a third of what I'm paying for rent. Wow. And I just was yeah, like, I'm sick of this shit. Please stop talking to me. You know what? And I'm going to tell you, once I realized that big stars, they don't stay in LA, I was like, wait a minute. Uh, yeah. Everybody would, moves away. To... They be having ranches everywhere and then they just come back to, to work and then they go back home. And I'm like, why Why don't I do that? I would move to Vegas because you your money can go a long way. In, not in the Vegas per se, but like Nevada area close to Vegas, maybe on the outskirts. Because Vegas airport go like it's the most accessible airport in America. Like flights are constant and they're cheaper going to like Vegas than it is to like fly to LAX. So I would probably do Nevada, some part of Nevada. It comes down to the culture then at, at the end of the day, like how far away from culture are you willing to be? But I feel like the only problem is with the second one, uh, barely making it in a small town, there's no guarantee that you're going to make it no like, barely making it in a big city in a big city that's what i mean there's no guarantee that you're going to get rich uh in that one whereas you're kind of already there in the other one so mm -hmm. right not to mention too being a super rich person adding to the economy of a small city we've seen cities atlanta was not atlanta 25 years ago people you know what i'm saying like, it was atlanta but it wasn't like live like it is like a lot of these cities <laughs> dubai just got built <laughs> You say what? Here during civil rights, yo no. Well, I'm just saying it was nice, but it never. I was there early on in my life, and it changed when I got back. When I was later, like oh shit, Atlanta's popping. But maybe that's a bad example. What I'm trying to say is like cities grow. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying like you know, it could you know. Shit. Yeah, just like Dave Chappelle <laughs> put Yellow Springs, Ohio, <laughs> on the map. You got to do build right. a mall in this small town that only he can afford to shop in. That sounds amazing. I'm like rich people problems. I like yeah, it. rich people. I mean, they do it all the time. But we still gonna spend all our money out there. I ain't say you couldn't afford to. <laughs> just because you can't afford it, I mean, you ain't go shop. They will be there. Yes. Selling Gucci overalls and shit for these country motherfuckers. Sure will. <laughs> all right, what you about to do? Um. Hi. Oh, Ty, which one are you picking? Oh, um, Rich, I checked out on anything other than that. <laughs> I feel you. Before. I don't want to struggle anywhere. Rich, rich, wherever we at, I'm, that's what I want to do. Yes. So if you had to move to New York <clears throat> for a year, right? You got enough money to pay your rent, but, but no more than $500 a month disposable income, right? I mean, this is after like groceries and shit like that. Right. Or move to Alaska and be rich as fuck. Like there is there is no limit to what you can and can't buy. You oh, can that's great. Okay, so when you put it that way, it's still what the fuck I said. Rich as fuck. <laughs> yeah, to hear trying to make broke sounds so Okay, you broke. <laughs> no, I just, you I look amazing. You like, nigga, no. <laughs> I just want you to weigh all the options. That's it. Just wait all I'm the rich. Yeah, what she said. Alaska. Put I'm that on Mary had a little land. Put me where the money resides. <laughs> right. <laughs> where the money resides. Right, rich, well, please. Hey, Looks like everybody's going with Rich in a small town. Is, is that unanimous? Is everybody with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Well, there it is. Uh, rich has it. We're going to move on to this last and final topic right after this. Hey, what up, guys? It's your boy to hear more. And Blue Chew is sponsoring this ad. Blue Chew is making waves and bringing more confidence to the bedroom, all right? Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. Now, let's be real. That's what we all want, right? Something that's actually going to work and save us money? <laughs> Sign me up. 
Actually, I, I did sign up. I'm not even going to hold you. Blue Chew's tablets combat all forms of ED and can help men gain extra confidence for when it's time to perform. <laughs> Maybe you know what I'm saying. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no more visits to the doctor's office. No more awkward conversations. Yeah, I was hoping maybe you could help me with my deliver. You ain't got to worry about that, man. I, everything is secure. And no waiting in line at the pharmacy. It ships right to your door. All right? You don't even have to put pants on to grab this. I mean, if you're going outside, you should put pants on. But if you're just going to open the door, stick your arm out, grab the package. Because it's in a discreet package. That's fine. And this is a simple process, guys. Sign up at BlueChew.com. Consult with one of their licensed medical providers. And once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part is all done online, okay? Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and strength for your prescription, all right? Don't like swallowing pills? Perfect, okay? No problems here. Blue Chew offers tablets. These tablets are chewable. That's me. I, I, I was a chewable kid my whole life. I'm, I'm going to chew off a chewable adult. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and they prepare and ship direct. So it's actually cheaper than going to a pharmacy. So if you could benefit from a little extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. Now, I got a special deal for my listeners. Y'all know how I do. I want you guys to try Blue Chew for free, okay? Try it free when you use our promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, at checkout and just pay $5 for shipping. Now you got $5, all right? Again, that's bluechew.com, promo code SQUAD to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. And remember, when you support our sponsors, you support this podcast. Let's get it going. Last topic of the day, we have what's worse, having your messages leaked or having your photos leaked? <sighs> it's going to be the messages for me because my <laughs> photos uh, are lit, fam. Like, if my news get out, nigga, listen, I think I'm going to be all right. You know what I mean? But my text, my group chat, oh, shit. We talk cold cash shit about people. And just so we're clear, if my messages ever get out, we said what we said. Did you say cold cash talk yes. shit about people? Cold cash Shit talking. That's that Baltimore shit. That, that sounds like cold cash listen. come with a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> cold listen, cash we, shit, yo, the, man. Chat, if the oh. messages get out, we say what we say, square up, do you want to fight? Because we we not sorry. We don't take it back. But it's going to be a lot of, it's going to be some hurt people. Like, oh, in the screenshots? Nigga. Oh, my God. Yeah, it'll be all bad. But my news, oh yeah, you can have all that. The pictures, yeah, get that out there. Yeah. I feel like I would have more explaining to do uh, from my messages than my pictures. My pictures are gonna be self-explanatory, but the messages, you you might not know the context or, you know, you know what I'm saying? So that is up to too much interpretation. Uh, my news, I mean, I'm a human. I got a human ass body like anybody else. I don't, I don't, I don't have a problem with it, you know what I'm saying? But the messages, it's yeah, true. like, you know what I'm saying? What you mean, man? What the fuck? What you trying to say? I didn't say nothing. I just yeah, because you don't know what the fuck God gave me. Go ahead though. <laughs> now, hey, trying to look know, at you. Like, I've seen look. a frog body before. I ain't trying yeah, to say we'll rib it, rib it, goddammit. You know what they say. <laughs> <laughs> Jump on that ass. <laughs> I dissected a frog in seventh grade. I know what the body Hey, look. but guess what? Frogs be fucking though. You, you ever see frogs? Like that's one of the most they what? got one of the they got one of the coldest humps in the animal kingdom. Frost be like the water be splashing up. If you saw it in slow motion, <laughs> that shit would be sexy as fudge. Blah, blah. <laughs> what? 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 No what is wrong with this? <laughs> they put me in a jacuzzi every night. I'm just whatever. Anyway, go. Why ahead. are you like this, CP? I am oh, God. God. Don't nobody want to hear strong that. ass legs. It's like a it's like an NBA player fucking a track bitch. This strong ass jump. Everybody got hops. They just in there. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> whatever. <got> hops. <laughs> hamstrings. <laughs> hamstrings everywhere. All right. No, we're not gonna talk about y'all family having sex. Okay, we don't want to hear. Hey about man, don't do that. Problems. My wife is human. Leave her out of this. No, she's you. you and your frogs. No. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> oh my God. That's so This bad. is fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have wait. Would I care if my I feel like my dudes, you gonna look at my dudes. You need to pay for my dudes. Those are not for free. 
Mm. No, no, no. They're free. They're free. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> they're free. <laughs> I don't know. No. Oh, <laughs> they may oh, not be free God. key, but they're free. They may not be free key. They may not be free key, but they're free. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'd rather. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you, Ty. I don't think I want people to see <laughs> the bad stuff I wrote. <laughs> Say sure. what? Oh, the best. Yes, I'm saying you can't. There's no context with a text message. Your pictures, it is what it is. People are gonna just here go the thing. It's something for everybody. So if somebody gonna be into what you got. So right. there's that. Yep. But there's nobody gonna be into like your meanness. They'll be like, God damn, they some. Wow. <laughs> it depends because some some people like it when you mean to them. They 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 like that humiliation. I'm you know I'm just saying they might be in. The I don't know. I, I, I know about that. Everybody's just unanimously mean in their texts. I mean, you know, dark I'm humor. Funny. There's some stuff that. Yeah. 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 It's it, like a joke that I would say to to my homies in the in the chat. Oh, oh man, man, I never say that on stage because they'd be like, "Yo," and I'd be like, "My friends got it." It's a lot of grocery lists and me asking. Uh, Google, what does this mean? And what is that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Code confirmations. Yeah, like, fuck that. And then especially, like, you know how, like, you know how, Meg, when you and your girlfriend's, like, in a group chat, and, like, if you, you know, you got a code name for a dude, so, like, whatever whatever that dude is that you're dealing with, and they be like, um, what that code name mean? And you be like, nigga. And you gotta explain to, ah. Yeah. Uh, Meg ain't no player. Meg over here, like, I don't know what you're talking about. Ty, like, you know how I be with, with your Saturday, nigga. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if you only know, if you only knew, May hasn't always been engaged with a baby, okay? Oh, we know that. I'm just saying, right now, right now, yeah, okay? Saturday, oh. nigga. That was back in the '80s before group chats was even a thing. Man. I feel yeah. like nudes now. Actually, it's kind of like how guys don't shy away from talking about you know, giving, going down on chicks. Like back in the day, 10, 15, 20 years ago would have been a big thing. But now it's like, like, like you send the news, some guys send a news before they say hello to a chick. They all in the inbox just sending the dick pic. So ain't nobody really tripping off the news like that no more. Especially like once celebrities started getting famous and getting notoriety for leaking their sex tapes, everybody like to say, I don't give a shit. I show my dick. I show my foot. I show my... I mean, <laughs> look at the silhouette tip challenge. Like, <laughs> Granted, those people weren't doing it for the whoever the creep was that created the the the, the, yeah. the app that that can take the filter off. And oh they, my god! That bucket challenge, the way they was busting it on Twitter, I was like, yo. Yeah, somebody was getting bust on. I was like, why is this on Twitter? Who is really, doing them? I just go to Twitter. We're in the second month of the year, and I feel like it's already been like six or seven challenges already. This shit is. <laughs> It's yeah, crazy. And guess I like, what? I like how we're not coming. included. I like how it's just all for the women. I, I'm I'm sick of I'm sick of no challenges. The boys did the silhouette challenge, and I really liked how they did it. <laughs> I didn't see that. It's okay. Too. I saw it, but <laughs> I'm just saying. Are you talking like, about Tahir's to Tahir's to silhouette challenge? Yeah. <laughs> To hear oh, silhouette challenge was talking hilarious. about girl. I kill you. My, my followers jump on my time on that at chippendales.com. I don't know why I see this nigga silhouette. I want to see that feel. big back live. I want to see with no red filter. Let Hughes me see. reached out to your boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm out oh, here. I have a lifetime of croissants right now. You go here. You look like you already had a lifetime full of croissants. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to be. I just it's, it's it's just the quickness. I'm sorry. I enjoyed it to hear. I thought yours was very nice. I I actually made people funny. mad with mine. People were upset with me. I had a lot of dudes. It was like, boo. I was like, <laughs> why? Because Ty act like she's finna do it, and then was like, no, nigga. <laughs> That's why they booed. You turned your camera on. And and edit that together. <laughs> because oh, my handle God. is comedian Ty Davis, not Instagram model, sex symbol, really sexy girl Ty Davis. So why did they think? And then that's another thing. I know what my silhouette looks like, and I'm happy with my silhouette. 
But uh, you know, y'all might my silhouette don't go like this. It go like this. Bleep 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 bleep. <laughs> <laughs> bleep, 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 bleep. I got kangaroo pouch. I got some stuff going on, and I don't. I don't think that people want to see that. So I just did the psycho man, and that got me a lot of views. All right, well, let's put it to a vote. <laughs> Text messages or news? What? Which could leak, or which would we prefer? I thought you said camera roll. You mean sp just specifically straight up nudes? Um, well, I mean, I, I think be up I, in the I think on this would probably be the, the thing in, either way, because your camera roll leaking, you got to explain why you were with your kids at Chuck E. Cheese. Like, that ain't no shit that you're ashamed of. I'm thinking like, you know, like. Yeah, but them pictures it. where you try to take the picture underneath the crack of your ass to make sure, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> you saved it all. And then <laughs> you got to delete them. You know? <laughs> All right, never mind. You delete what? those immediately. You Why do you say those? those? <laughs> you nah, delete. but sometimes people don't know how to go into delete, hit no, delete pictures. So then the still the on there. Yeah, delete, but you, sometimes, sometimes you gotta look under the back of your neck or in your mouth. You take a picture of the inside of your mouth with the light on. <laughs> Y'all never do that? All right, cool, fuck it. I do it. What? I mean, this is a picture of the inside of somebody's ass. That's my mouth, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you ever had like with like man did, did i bite my tongue you get in there with the light that should be looking brilliant you're like yep there it is oh, it's an x-ray cp you <laughs> always give me a vote. headache put it, put it to a vote what we going with photos or messages it's worse to have your messages leaked i'm going messages. with messages 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 messages, messages. messages. anonymous all right as you know i mean hey, anonymous playtime he over here not talking good again. I don't even remember. He said I'm synonymous. Gonna, I'm going to cut that Anonymous. block out. They ain't no, never going to no, see no. Shut up, man. <laughs> Drink your water. You can't taste nothing. I knew what you meant to hear. Thanks, Ty. You know what I'm saying? Play us fuck up. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching another episode. <laughs> You're like, he got an R&B album coming out called My Uber Smell Good. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Squadcast Versus. Want to thank our special guests, Todd Davis and CP, and of course, the rest of Squad, Meg and Pat, for pulling up, man. We'll see y'all next week. Peace.